right field. Bye-bye. Chipper Jones does it again. 400 in his career. He is amazing. You know, he was always a great hitter. I think he was a guy that in the middle of his career, people looked at and thought, okay, he could win a batting title someday. Uh, let me put it this way, it wasn't like any other year. That was something maybe he hadn't thought about before, and I think he really wanted it. I think you could tell just by talking to him that uh, that was something he really wanted. Well, you know, the year before, he missed the batting title by uh, three or four points and was a little disappointed about it. All of a sudden, Every ball he hit found a hole. A double, another RBI for Chipper Jones. Two home runs and a double tonight for Chipper Jones. Boy, Chipper Jones, some kind of hot. I stop and I, I think about that. You know, you got guys throwing 100 miles an hour, 95 miles an hour, 98 miles an hour, and you're ringing up two, three hits a night. I don't know how that happened. Fly ball, left field deep, back goes the left fielder Willingham, that ball is gone. Home run, Chipper Jones the other way. Boy, has he ever walked in from both sides of the plate. He was the most zoned in hitter I have ever managed. From the get go, the first inning on, he was zeroed in, had his game plan. No matter who the relief pitcher was, he knew what to look for and what to expect. To me, Chipper, I always felt like Chipper was a guy that he could fall out of bed and he was going to go four for five. I mean, that, that was just the kind of hitter that he was. Chipper was a guy that could literally come to the ballpark for a week straight, never hit extra, and really probably didn't have to take batting practice. I mean, he, he, he had those types of skills. He had great physical skills, tough mental attitude, will to win, and a determination to do something to help his team win in each and every game he played. Sometimes not consciously, but it was just built in him. That's how he played the game of baseball. But that was just Chipper being Chipper. Chipper was just being Chipper. He just swung the bat. He knew what to do. He knew the pitcher's strengths and weaknesses, and he attacked them. He was, he was sitting, waiting for them when they came. I remember him calling me midway through the season, maybe a little after that, and he said, Dad, I can flip two hits a night every night out there. It was one of those things where his confidence was such that, here again, I don't know if he gave an at-bat away. Chipper Jones, a three-run homer. He's hotter than a firecracker, and it's 5 nothing Atlanta. Listen to this crowd. Uh, I think once you get a batting title, on your mantle, you know, it brings instant credibility. People respect you as, as one of the elite hitters in the game, and I'm ecstatic. I think it's probably harder to win this than it, than it was to win the MVP, you know, because the MVP is out of your control. You know, you don't really worry about that. But you, you know, you open up the paper, you see your name at the top of the, top of the standings all the time. It's, it's a little bit different. You know, it was cool watching him, you know, chase that batting title. I mean, that's a tough thing to do, and to hit 360 is just phenomenal in the major leagues. You always marvel at guys like that that are that good and that consistent. Just seeing him when he's about to retire to do back-to-back -back years like he did, finish second, you know, the one year and won it the next year, the batting title. Only the great hitters, ball players, period, can do those types of things uh, at that age. So. You know, the Aarons, the Williams, the DiMaggio's, guys like that did it. 